DSCR. DSCR. What in the heck does that mean? Who's going to want to know what it is? Well, I'm Aaron Impens, and today we're going to discuss what DSCR means. Body room has got a good roof. Got the in interior here. It's not. Okay, so DSCR. What does it stand for? Let's talk about it. It stands for debt service coverage ratio. Debt service coverage ratio. Well, what does that mean? What does that mean? This is a measurement of uh, how much money is available to be able to pay the debt on a property, okay? So as you can tell, we we're talking about debt and the debt service. Who's gonna wanna know this number? Who's it gonna be important to? Well, first off, it should be important to you, but a bank is also gonna wanna see this number. They're also gonna be wanting to know this number, and if you can take it to them and show them, they'll probably be impressed. They'll, they'll feel confident with what you've, what you've got and what you're showing them. Okay, so, so how, do we, how do we figure this out? How do we determine what our debt service coverage ratio is? Okay, so let's talk about that. It's gonna be your annual NOI. So what is your annual NOI? Your annual NOI is your net cash flow. Okay, this is how much money you're making at the end after it's all said and done. Okay, and then it's gonna be divided by your annual debt service. So what is debt service? Well, most of the time, if you're buying real estate and you have leverage, you're gonna have a mortgage, okay? That's gonna be your debt. And the debt service is how much that debt costs you on a, in this case, yearly basis, okay? So your annual NOI divided by your annual debt service equals DSCR, your debt service coverage ratio. Okay, easy enough. All right, so let's dive a little deeper into this. We'll go through some examples. So let's talk about a, a single family home or a rental property that you have. It doesn't even have to be a single family home. Let's talk about a rental property that you own. And let's say for example's sake, your annual NOI happens to be the exact same amount as your annual debt service. So 6,000 and 6,000. What's that give you for a DSCR? One. Right? It's the exact same. This is how much money you made. This is how much money your debt cost for the year. Is that a good number? Is one a good number? Well, it's not necessarily bad because it's not in the negatives or it's not below one, but a bank isn't going to like this number. A bank is going to look at this and say, well, hey, they're only making $6,000 a year, and this is, that's how much our loan costs. So what if something comes up in the middle of the year and this number doesn't come out to be that? They're not going to like that. Typically, a bank is going to want to see a number, a, a DSCR, something higher than that. Probably somewhere between 1.15 and 1.25 or above. Okay? That's what a typical bank is going to want to see. Something like that. So what this means is, for every dollar of debt that comes in, in this case, you've got... 15 cents or 25 cents or whatever that number is that you've made on top of the debt, okay? So you now have some flexibility in the income that's coming in. You have some room for some variables. Banks, they're gonna wanna see numbers like this. 1.15, 1.25, or obviously higher. The, the higher you can get it, the better off that you are. Okay, so Let's, let's go into a little bit more of a specific example, okay? Let's do this. Let's say that you've gone to the bank and you got a $75,000 loan, 75K loan. Um, the interest rate on that is 5%, just for example's sake. That might be a little less here and there. Um, and it's on a 20-year amortization. Okay, so you've gone to the bank. This is what you've got, 75K loan, 5% on a 20-year amort, okay? 
So what is your monthly debt or your debt service going to cost you? It's going to cost you roughly $500, okay? Roughly. Monthly debt, which, which equals out to 6000 yearly or annually. Okay? Pretty straightforward, right? So let's say that house that you bought is bringing in $1,000 a month rent, as an example. Income. Which would equate to $12,000 annually, right? Pretty straightforward, right? Okay, well remember, we're looking for the net income to calculate this. Sorry, let me, let me just put this back up here for you to remember. Annual NOI divided by debt service. Okay, so we're looking for that, well, not NOT, NOI. <laughs> we're looking for that annual NOI. So we've got $1,000 a month income, $12,000 a year. Is that our NOI? No, it's not. Okay, what we need to do is we need to take out the expenses for that. So you got 12,000 uh, times 0.4. So this is, this is the rough number that I calculate for expenses when, for example's sake, a lot of times you're going to have expenses that total up to around, around 40%, give or take. Some, some may be uh, less, some may be more. It's a good, good rough example, okay? So times 0.4 gives you, what is that, 4,800, I think? 4,800 for your total expenses, okay? So... To get your annual NOI, you take your income minus your expenses, let me just, 12,000 minus your expenses gets you 7,200 NOI, okay? So now we've, got, we've gotten that far. We've established what our, what our net operating income is. $7,200. This is before debt, obviously, before debt. So let's calculate what our debt service coverage ratio is. To do that, we need our annual NOI, which is $7,200, divided by the cost of our debt. Can we remember what that is? 500 monthly, 600 or 6,000 annually. So divided by 6,000 gives us or equals 1.20 DSCR. Is that a good number? I tell you what, as what we talked about earlier, a bank is going to like to see this number. Obviously, it could be higher and it'd be better, but yes, this is something that you could feel confident with going to a bank and showing them, and they would also then feel confident as well. So, this is a good example. Let me show you one that's maybe not so good of an example. Okay, we'll take the, same, take the same house, same loan, okay, same house, same loan, everything else, but let's say the rent isn't quite $1,000. Let's say it's only $800 a month, which gives us, what, $9,600 annually, okay, so... This is our income, annual income. But remember, we're not looking for our gross income. We're looking for our NOI. So we need to figure out what our expenses were out of this. 9,600 times 0.4 gives us, uh, let's see, uh, what is that? 3760, is that right? No, that's not right. Let's see. 9,000. 3840. Yeah, there we go. That's right. Okay, 3840. So this is our expenses. Figure out our NOI. Take our income minus our expenses. 9,600 minus 3840. 5,760 NOI. Okay. So this property is producing 5760 NOI. 
Now remember, we calculate our debt service coverage ratio, it's annual NOI divided by debt service. So let's do that, 5760 divided by, remember the cost of our debt, I didn't write that back up here, but it's the same loan. So it's 500 a month, which gives us $6,000 a year of debt service, okay? Annual NOI divided by the debt service equals 0.97 DSCR. 0.97, is that a good number? Absolutely not, absolutely not. So what this means is you are actually not even bringing in enough income to cover the cost of your debt. If you took this property to the bank and said, hey, here's what I'm doing, I want this 75K loan, 5%, 20 year AMORT, blah, 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 all these other numbers that go along with it, they're gonna look at this number and say, hey, that, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work at all. You don't even, you don't even bring in enough money to, to cover the debt service. This is not something that you would want to buy. So what could you do to make that number better? Obviously you could get a smaller loan. Um, you could increase the rents if that's feasible. But again, this number right here is not something that you want to bring to a bank. All right, guys. So that, that gives you a breakdown. You know, I showed you a good example that spit out a 1.20 debt service coverage ratio. And then we got one that's not so good. You know, hopefully it helps. Remember, to figure this out, this is the simple equation. Your annual NOI divided by your debt service gives you your coverage ratio, okay? Easy, easy. Take some notes, make sure, you, uh, make sure you're looking at this number. I promise you, if you go into a bank looking for a loan and you know this number before they do, they're gonna like that as well. So, hope this helps, guys. Uh, if you got any feedback, make sure and leave it in the comments below. If you got any questions about this, Make sure to leave those below as well. I'll, I'll gladly get back to you, answer anything that I can, uh, even do a follow-up if that's something that you guys would like as well. So keep tuning in for more tips, experience, knowledge that I can provide. Smash that subscribe button. Give me some likes, and we'll see you guys next time.